Hey guys, are you having trouble using a video with an application or even playing it on various devices? That's because most of the time it's just not in the right format and sometimes it's just way too big. And if you're planning on using an expensive video editing software for this, stop. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to use FFMPEG to do things like convert a video to any format, change the frame rate of any video. So let's get started by navigating to ffmpeg.org. From there, let's click on download and then click more releases. And yes, you have options to grab this for a Linux, Windows, or a Mac machine. And I'll be going with the Windows option. And as you can see, you can get it from any of these websites. Just make sure that you're grabbing a release build that's most recent and stable. And after you've downloaded FFMPEG, just navigate to the file. And you'll see that we're gonna have to unzip the archive somewhere on your computer. So find a directory where you can unzip it. And once you copy it over, head inside the bin folder because that's where FFMPEG is located. Next, we need to add this directory to our environment's path variable. This lets us use FFMPEG from anywhere on our computer. So to do this first, go ahead and make sure you're inside the bin folder. Then you'll copy the entire path of where FFMPEG is located. Now let's search for environment from the Windows start menu. Click on edit the system environment variables. And then from here, click the environment variables dot 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 button. Now double click path under user variables. Now click new and then paste that path that we copied earlier. If you apply these changes, let's test to see if we can run FFMPG. So this means we need to open the Windows command prompt from the start menu. And the command we'll be running first is FFMPG space dash version. And if you start seeing build information for your FFMPG version, it means you can now start using it. To start doing video conversions, we're gonna first navigate to where our videos are located. Once you're there, click on the address bar and then type in CMD to start a new command prompt session on this path. Take a look at this first example. This is an AVI video, which I need to convert to an MP4 file. And this is probably gonna be the most simple conversion that we need. So on the command prompt that we have open, we'll start by calling FFMPEG and the dash I means we're gonna specify our input file next. In this case, train.avi is the file that we need to convert. Finally, we give the output file a new name with the file extension that we want. And we'll press enter to run the command. And if you look at some of the output, Notice how FFMPEG decided to re-encode the video for our new MP4 file. And believe it or not, it's already done. At this point, you might find that the new video file might have a slight drop in quality. That's because it was re-encoded. Let's do this again by telling FFMPEG not to re-encode at all. And you can do this by adding a dash C space copy to the command, which means not to re-encode, but copy it instead using the same video container that's on the file. Now, obviously this is a much faster option, but notice how the file without the re-encoding is about five times bigger. Next, I'm going to show you how to change a video's frame rate. So for example, this video I'm playing right now plays at 60 frames per second and I wanna change this to 24 frames instead. No problem, let's switch back to our command prompt session and this time we'll be running it with the dash R option. And after putting in that parameter, you can tell FFMPG what frame rate that you want. In my case, I've specified 24. So let's run this command and once the video has been converted, 
I do recommend opening it with something like VLC Media Player because you can open up a video, press Control J, and you can get all the media information that's associated to that file. And as you can see, this video's frame rate is now 24. Next, one trick I'd like to show you is how to tell FFmpeg to do a lossless conversion. So for example, this is a cyberpunk samurai footage which has some detailed quality. So I'll show you two ways to convert this video while making sure that we keep the same quality. To use the first approach, we'll run an FFmpeg command and tell it to use the libx264 video encoding, which is really compatible with many devices. And after that, there's a preset which is telling it to use the fastest option, or ultra fast. The QP option is for specifying that this is a lossless conversion, followed by the name of the output video. For this one, the video conversion is very fast, but the file size is huge. But if you need a much smaller size video at a great quality, let's go over option number two. So for this one, let's reuse our previous command by pressing the up arrow in command prompt. The only thing that we need to change is to use the very slow preset and we'll give it a new file name. So as you may have guessed, this conversion will take a lot longer. And that's because FFmpeg is doing its best to compress the video. But once it's done, let's see if it's actually worth it. The slower approach gave us a video file that's 125 megabytes, whereas the ultra fast approach produced one that was 219 megabytes. So was the slower approach actually worth it? You tell me. The point is FFmpeg lets you convert videos to any format and you can choose the right one based on parameters that work for you. And by the way, I'll be doing more future videos on FFmpeg because you can do much more amazing things like convert a video that has multiple languages and keep only English audio and subtitles. You can also combine multiple videos and add filters on top of the video, including text and images. Thanks for watching. And for more on FFmpeg and converting videos, please consider subscribing to this channel.